Welcome back. Well, you know, we love Packers wife, Molly Crosby. She's always uh, giving us tips on how to be a little more healthy when it comes to eating. And she's so much fun, too. Uh, you know, she says, don't, don't stress out about it. It's her philosophy. You know, little steps, baby steps. And recently we, we went grocery shopping with her. We were at Festival Foods, and she showed us some great options as to what to drink in the morning to lighten up a bit. Again, in the grocery store, just checking out some different types of milks and why we might choose them. Um, milk might seem like a really basic choice, but as you've probably discovered, if you've been to the grocery store in the last 10 years, there are tons of choices these days. So I'd like to just talk to you about what I would choose and why. Um, one of my favorites, if you're going to have just a glass of good old-fashioned cow's milk, is this line that's actually made locally here in Wisconsin, comes in glass bottles, and it is cream fish milk. Um, it's a great way to show your children not only that their health is important, but when you come back to the grocery store, you can recycle these containers. You actually get $2 cash back every time, and you set a wonderful precedent for your children showing them with what you buy and how you handle what you've bought, how to be a responsible consumer. If you're lactose intolerant or want to step away from cow's milk, a next option is soy milk. Um, soy milk has had a lot of press. You might have heard that it's great. You might have heard that it has estrogen. There's an opinion for every type of soy milk, and there's a lot of soy milk. So what I feel is when I'm having coffee drinks, I like to use soy milk. It has a slightly sweeter taste. It also is a great source of protein. I don't drink it every day, but I do drink it sometimes, and I really enjoy it. I prefer, however, to choose the plain option. This one was vanilla. It is a little bit sweeter, and it does have a slightly higher sugar content. And I like to have my silk soy milk with um, Oregon chai. I do half and half. You can do it iced, or you can do it hot. Very yummy. Next on, we move to rice milk. Rice milk is made, as you can guess it, from rice, and it differs from soy milk really only in its source, but they're both similar in that they don't need to be refrigerated until they're opened. They do have a whole bunch of different flavors. You could do chocolate, vanilla, sweetened, unsweetened. Um, it's great for those children that are soy intolerant, another way to throw in a new food group. Also, almond milk, you might not be as familiar with it. I love almond milk. Maybe if you're like me, you're not as inclined to pick up a handful of almonds. I just don't particularly love the taste and texture, um, but almond milk has the same nutrient values, is nutrient dense as a handful of almonds does, but you can get it in chocolate flavor, so you know I'm going to love that. The last option that I would like to discuss that isn't perhaps as mainstream, but I think will definitely be in the future, is kefir, which is made from goat's milk um, and also from reduced fat milk, 2% uh, cow's milk. It is incredible it has a slightly effervescent tingle it'll tickle your nose when you're drinking it comes in great flavors is a way to get probiotics which you might have heard of that good bacteria that you get in yogurt that live in your intestines the stuff is great just pour yourself a little bottle or a little glass in the morning make sure you shake it before you do and it's a great way to get probiotics and also enjoy a dairy serving